The figure is made up of a rectangle and a square. The area of the square is two-fifths the area of the rectangle. A shaded area of 40 square cm is being cut out. The remaining area of the unshaded part of the square is now one-fifth of the remaining area of the rectangle. What is the area of the figure? Now, the area of the square is 2 out of 5 of the area of the rectangle. So, which means the square is 2 units in area. The rectangle is 5 units in area. So, what we can do, we can box this out. And for the square, we put 2 units. We box this out as well. For the rectangle, we put 5 units. All right. And the part is inside here. This will be 40 square cm. Okay, and we are also given the uh, remaining areas. So the remaining area of the square will be one part. For the rectangle, it will be five parts. So this will be one part. And for the rectangle, the remaining area will be five parts. Which then tells us that the value of two units is the same as one part plus 40 square cm, right? Because two units is the square. If you take that one part plus 40, you will get the original square of two units. Likewise, likewise, five units will be equivalent to five parts plus 40 square cm. Which then means that one unit is the same as one part plus eight square cm. Now, how do we get there? We divide everything by five. Okay, so what we'll do is we will use one unit to be the same as one part and an additional of eight square cm. So going back to this first line of items here that we have written down, instead of writing two units, two units, I can write two parts plus 16 square cm. Why? Because I times two here, times two here. So two units is the same as two parts plus 16 cm square, which is exactly the same as one part plus 40 cm square. How do I get that? It's exactly from this part. All I've done is to replace the two units to two parts plus 16. To solve this for the parts, what we can do is to draw a model. Okay, so we have two parts plus 16 is equivalent to just one part plus 40. Okay, these two are the same. So, two parts minus one part, that will be one part. And the value of one part will be the same as 40 minus 16, which is 24 cm square. Right? Because this part here, this blank box, or this dotted line here, and then this box here represents one part. So, as one part is just 40, take away 16, which is 24 cm square. All right? So now that I have one part, I can actually find the area of this square, which is just 24 plus 40. This is 64 cm square. This the this is the area of your square. Okay, and not forgetting they are asking you to find the area of the figure, which means that you need the square plus this part here, which is five parts. All right, so what's five parts? Five parts is 24 times five, and that would be 120 cm square. So the total area of your figure will be equivalent to 64 cm squared plus that five parts, oops, daisy, 120 cm square, which is gonna be equals to 184 cm square. Final answer for this question.